February is here and a new month means new releases from Bull Moose. Chris Brown and Callie LaRocas are here Hello. to go over the list today. Thanks so much for coming into the studio. Fun. First person on the list has got a lot of attention recently. The one and only Usher. Mm -hmm. He's got a new release. Yeah, this is his first solo album in I think like eight years or something like that. So really exciting, especially if you're like me and grew up with him. Yes. And I was immediately excited to tune in for the halftime show. And this is just a really great throwback to like what made him one of the biggest R&B stars of all time. Yeah. So definitely worth checking out whether you are a longtime fan or you've never listened to him before the Super Bowl on Sunday. Does it have a lot of his old vibes or is this like new Usher? It's like a good mix of just all the kind of sub genres of R&B that like kind of have something for everyone. Yes. And I got really excited because on top of that, he has a song that samples Billy Joel, Uptown Girl. So I was like, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready fun. for this mashup. I didn't know I needed that. But. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's another album we didn't know we needed, but some of us perhaps do, Chris. <laughs> Steel Eye Span is a band that goes back to the 1960s and 70s. They've got a new album out called Live at the Bottom Line, which was a famous club in New York from 1974. What do we have here? Well, they were Steel Eye Span, not Steely Dan. <laughs> Steel Eye Span was one of the big folk rock groups of, of that era. I mean, there's, they, they still exist. <laughs> pretty cool cool moment in their career because they had just done a US tour opening for Jethro Tull they had had a top 20 hit in the UK sung in church Latin a cappella which is on here Gaudete right. if you remember that song Rob I don't remember that church Latin song well you know anyway <laughs> um, an unlikely hit but you know uh, and they had just added a drummer so they've got it's a really eclectic mix of, I mean, their whole career always was, but, but this is pretty cool that they, you know, they were trying to have, bring ancient and modern ideas yeah. to, together, Something like, like Fairport Convention and all those bands did. Very all cool. Right. Okay, and kind of switching gears here, Kelly, we have the Conan Chronicles, Conan the Barbarian, and Conan the Destroyer. It's out on 4K. Mm -hmm. I am definitely excited about this. Everything that <laughs> this boutique arrow does, they're responsible for restoring these types of movies that, are just classics from like the 80s and 70s and stuff in 4K. They always go all out with their mm. releases. So it's really wonderfully restored. And on top of that, there's like exclusive interviews. The audio is amazing. The, it comes with like posters and collector cards and all these things. And it is the perfect gift for anyone who was definitely like there for the Conan theatrical releases. Mm. I was. I yeah. Was. <laughs> <laughs> he immediately told yeah. me that when I was like, we should talk about Conan. Conan movie was his breakout role. Yeah. yeah. And, and then yeah. again, everything comes back to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, mm -hmm. the Super Bowl, Super Bowl there, commercial yeah. was rated number one in mm -hmm. the, the USA it. Today. Well, it was the only one that survey. was halfway creative. So yeah, it's, it was it was pretty maybe. good. Maybe. Yeah. It's, it, it's one of those like movies that you should, even if you were not around for when it came out, like you should watch it because you just immediately are like, Oh, that inspired literally everything after that. So, <laughs> all right, one more new release to get to. This one needs some explanation, Chris. It's from Does Jay it? Maskus. Okay. It's called "What Do We Do Now?" Out on CD, LP, and cassette. Well, he was the you know he's the front man from Dinosaur Jr. and and he's the guy who put the like sludgy thing into grunge, the sort of sloppy, messy guitar that that's really comes from him. Okay. And so this new album, solo album, he's backed off a bit. You know, he had that slacker thing that kind of sounded like he didn't really care what he was doing, but of course he did because everything was all, you could just tell it was always like really well constructed, layers and layers of guitars. So this has a lot more acoustic guitar and piano in it. Still sounds like him, but um, you know, it's just mature and refined. So people who, you know, maybe don't want an album that sounds like it was recorded on a boom box, but still like him are gonna enjoy it. It's All really, right. it's good. Four new releases, but I think we have something for a wide variety of tastes here. <laughs> Callie, Chris, thank you so much as always. Thank you. Stay with us back with more of 207 right after this.